Hey guys, going on? My name is Josh. I'm from Game Productions, and today we're playing a game called DefCon. So I'm gonna give you the breakdown on the game and all that stuff because I bought this recently uh, when it was on Steam sale. So basically, how it works is over here we have the uh, scoreboard, and uh, it lists the players. Right now, I'm playing a uh, one-on-one -on -one with a, uh, a bot, but uh, you can have up to six, and it is an online game, so. You can uh, play against other players, but what you do is you get a region, and uh, there are, there's not that many regions to play because they are rather large. Usually, you get like you know Russia or like a larger region like Asia or something like that. Um, so, but it's uh, it's evenly proportioned to the teams. So basically, the objective of the game is to um, uh, defeat the other's military and or. Uh, kill the most people and destroy the most infrastructure of the enemy, and that's what the store uh, score board is uh, the score board sorry is based off of. So to start the game, what we're gonna want to do is check out where the people in the game are, where the cities are, um, and check out all these little tabs. So we have a whiteboard where we can like draw stuff and all this crap, but uh, yeah, we don't really need to use that to be quite honest with you. We have the nukes, which we could uh, show all the th all the uh, things we have, all the uh, nuclear subs and things like that, that could uh, launch on the enemy. <clears throat> and so, these are the territories of the water we own, uh, the water they own, uh, disputed areas and stuff like that. Um, orders, I haven't given any, obviously. Then we have people, so these are all the population hubs. And... Uh, Basically, this is this is where we want to strike when we uh, do. We want to hit those cities and inflict as much damage as we can. But uh, these are the comms and chat and stuff like that. Um, allies, but we don't have a thing like that going like that. But you can do that with your friends, have an ally thing and like share equipment. But we're going to start and we're going to go ahead and hit our units and um, start playing by establishing a you know safe perimeter what is going on okay so I can put it right around here uh, right there put something right here gotta, put one, oh, gotta protect the coastline too like that's really important all right uh, okay so I guess it's all my cities covered, but uh, it doesn't look like my airbase is really going to be able to do much to them. I'm going to place one right there though, just because. Place one here, place one here, place one here, just because of the fact that um, I don't really have much to work with on this side, and uh, because they're on a different continent, my planes are not going to be, my fighter jets aren't really going to be able to reach them. So now we're going to set up our nuclear silos, and uh, this is essentially what they are. This is where some of your nukes are going to launch from. These are also your air defense things, so uh, you want to strategically place these with your, uh, your cities and stuff, because, uh, you know... You don't really want people to hurt your cities and your people. <clears throat> That's the main objective. Protect your people. So, now we want to go and make our sea fleet. So, I always just double click because you get an even amount of all of them. Uh, you have to start by putting it in your own waters. But, you know, that's cool. It makes sense, logically. Um, but go ahead and just make your fleet. So... So guys, you just seen that DEFCON thing, and basically what that means is every time you see a new DEFCON level, it means a uh, new thing can go on. So uh, you can't really attack each other's subs till DEFCON 3, and that's what we're now in. So we have enemies in our like heading towards our waters. They're in the uh, actual, they're they're in their own territory, and we're in the disputed area, and I think that's why they're they're heading over here. But basically, we are all set up for war, and uh, these guys are well aware of it. We want to defend all the unprotected areas. I didn't even realize I had an unprotected area until now, but we do. So let's check out what's going on here. 
up here I can speed up time so let's let's just go ahead and uh, do that and see what's gonna go on so I'm gonna back off a bit just to see what they do and see if they strike first um, I'm gonna bring some of these guys over to uh, no I, I feel like I feel like two two uh, sets of uh, water defenses up here would be enough to counter this because uh, I don't know I don't know where these guys built up so it's a problem it is a problem all right you guys are gonna get attacked so games on guys and then we're gonna speed up and Defcon 2 is coming up soon and that's when uh, we can I think it's uh, that's when our fighter jets can start launching and stuff like that